So the resolution and screen door effect remain one of the biggest complaints I still hear from my friends who try VR. But if you've been paying attention, there have been modest but impressive variables offered with software like the Oculus, Tray, and Debug tools. With the GTX 1080 Ti, you can easily cap the pixel density at 2.0. Even with the 1070, you can hit 1.7 without a terrible loss of performance or stuttering. Wait, hold on! Robo Recall! Sorry, but if you don't do that every time you launch the game, it doesn't work. Back to the eye test. So the great thing about several VR games released within the past year is that you do not need additional software to modify your pixel density prior to launching your game. Most current VR titles allow you to natively downsample right there in the options menu. By improving the value of the pixel density beyond one, the images are rendered at higher resolutions than what is being pushed to your headset. The image is then minimized to fit the native resolution of your headset. The effect is reduced aliasing and a better perceived picture. However, I noticed that it's tough to really see how well the image is improved when playing in-game while, you know, dodging bullets and shrapnel. I mean, your eye can see some kind of improvement, but it wasn't until hanging out in the ready room in Robo Recall where I found an object at the perfect distance and I can still adjust the pixel density while looking at it. This clock. At the maximum pixel density, I can actually read the time from the perceived, I don't know, 25, 30 feet. I believe this game defaults to 1.0 the first time you play it. Trust me when I say you can't read it from this distance, and I currently have 2015 vision. Thank you, LASIK. But increasing the value makes it more than legible. So I'm cycling between 0.7 and 2.0 to give you the range of clarity you perceive, well, could perceive in game depending on your graphics card. I tried zooming to give you a better idea in this video of what I'm seeing. Just remember the tighter you zoom, generally the cloudier it's going to get. I'll display the side by side images at the end though. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I really appreciate it and tend to do more with super sampling and VR and might even get around to playing something one day. So please subscribe for more. Later.